Hi, I'm Ms. Lancaster, the librarian here at Boas Elementary School, and today I want to share with you how your child can access library ebooks at home. We have about 300 different library ebooks, and most of those read to your student. And it would be a wonderful resource for you to be able to use at home with your child over the weekends, at night, or even with our upcoming fall break. So the easiest way to access those at home is to go to the Boas Elementary School's website. If you go to the home page and scroll down, you can see this second little icon says library ebooks. If you click on that, it will open up a new tab with our library website. If you scroll down, you'll see this is the ebook page, and we have so many different ones to choose from. In this first chart, these are nonfiction ebooks that read out loud to your child. Whoops. Keep going. The second one are different fiction books just for fun to read, and these also read out loud to your, to your child. And the very last chart are other nonfiction books that, these are some that we started our ebook collection with uh, that do not read out loud, but they're still appropriate for our first graders, also kindergartners, if, um, if you would like to read with your child at home. So let me just demonstrate how you would open an ebook. It's very simple. These just simply show the um, book covers and your child can click on one and it will open the book for them. So let's start with this one that says Tigers. You'll notice that it opens in a new tab and it shows you the front cover of the book. To advance the pages, all you have to do is click the blue arrow here on the side. Zoom in on Savannah Animals, Tigers by Leo Stats. Okay, if it's a nonfiction book, it's going to start with this table of contents. Just remind your child that this page does not read out loud and they need to turn the page to begin the story. Tigers. Tigers are the biggest members of the cat family. Their roars are loud. They can be heard far away. You'll also notice another feature other than reading out loud is that each word as it is read is highlighted. This helps your child follow along as they listen to the story. Another way for your child to access these ebooks is to use Clever. Clever is a single sign on portal that your child can use to access different educational resources we use here at school. So on the back of your folder, each child has a Clever badge that's unique to them. It has their name underneath. And then there's also an ex it explains how to get to the website for Clever. So if you go to this website, here, you'll notice that it takes you to the one that says Boaz City Schools. All you have to do is click on the badge, log in. It's going to ask to access your webcam, and all your child has to do is hold up the QR code. The little check mark lets you know that they've logged in successfully. And this is how your child can access ebooks at school, but also at home. You'll notice as they scroll down, here's an icon and a direct link that takes them straight to the library ebooks. But there's several other resources here that your child could also use at home. Um, Bookflix has books that read out loud. We also have Epic. PebbleGo has nonfiction informational text that they can listen to. They could also um, watch stories on Storyline Online and also follow along with some digital books on Tumble Book Library and Tumble Math. Those are made available through our Boas Public Library to our students. So you'll notice that if your child is using Clever to log in, they have access to many different resources that can help them learn while they're at home. I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.